Hello, Liberty. I'm here with another 2020 Senior Spotlight. And now I am here with our class president, Gabby Fontana. Hello, Gabby. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Very good. Uh, how's everything going at home? How are you adapting? Uh, the school adaption has been very well, but the social aspect has been quite hard and I want to go back, but of course we can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that's what I'm, from a lot of you that are in my calculus class, I'm hearing, you know, as far as the classwork goes, no big deal, that's fine. But then as far as just missing being in school, that part yeah, is the difficult part for you. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough not seeing everybody. Even the people you didn't think you'd miss too much, you miss right? them. It's like, crazy. I don't know. Gavin Reset. <laughs> I know, Gavin Rosette, whatever, he's your, uh, I miss your morning announcements, the two of you. Oh, they were so fun. Yeah, it was anything from like a lot of energy to just the sleepy, <laughs> like, hey guys, we're here. <laughs> Gavins were always like that. Uh, Gavins are pretty much always like that. Yeah, that's accurate. That's accurate. Um <laughs> So, Gabby, tell us a bit about yourself before the pandemic. Um, you know, what were you involved in at school? What did you like to do? That kind of thing. I kept busy in high school. I was class president. I was president of Science Olympiad. I was in almost, like, all the clubs I wanted to be in. I was in TSCT. I even, like, went to debate a few years. But then, what else was I in? I don't know. What else were you in? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I might was I supposed to keep track? I didn't know. No, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's okay. Um here, I'll I'll take you down a different road. Um no one's talked about this yet. TSTT, what is that? Explain to everybody what that is. That is today's students, tomorrow's teachers. There's like 10 people they select and you they help you on the track to be a teacher throughout high school and they help you get into college if you're the a lot of kids there like might have not even thought about college as a second option so they push kids to go to college to keep going through high school and once you get to college they help you with assistance with financial aid and they give you help and you learn how to be a teacher in high school and then once you get to college it's a little bit easier yeah, that's awesome. Um, what what kind of teacher do you want to be? I want. I think I want to teach in college, but if Ooh. I don't make it that far, I want to be just like a chem teacher, something that students don't like, so they can like it a little bit more. Uh, that's a very good. That is a very good thing to go for. That's like me being a math teacher. Most people hate it, and I try to make it a little bit of fun. Um. Well, that's awesome. That it is a pretty good group, and it's run by uh, one of my best friends, Miss O'Donnell. Love that. Oh, so good. Yeah. Um, so, speaking of classes, what was your favorite class in high school? My favorite class in high school. It would have to be the classes that make sense. So either like math or science. Because those two, like, they go hand in hand and they make sense. You don't have to, like, think outside of the box to understand what's happening. Right. right. You heard it here first, people. Math <laughs> and science are where it's at. Uh, that That's funny because I am I said that just now, but I'm not a science person. Person, Ask Miss Nolan. I'm not a science person at all. I would rather social studies in English if I have to choose anything besides math. Um, that's good, though. What, what – which uh, – Chemistry, I'm going to assume, based on what we previously talked about, is your favorite science? Yeah, or physics. Physics is also fun. Oh, physics. Physics is physics is all math. Yeah, that's why it's fun. <laughs> I mean, look at what we, we've been doing in calculus. We've been working with uh, position and velocity and acceleration. You guys did that in physics last year. Yeah, and gravity. We did that in both. And gravity, yep, yep. And it'll only get to be more complex as you go along. Um, so I know you have a lot of them because you are involved in so much. What memory or memories, if you want to share more than one, what memory sticks out in your mind the most from high school? 
the most from high school. Yeah. It would have to be when we do like band with other schools. So it's Ooh. not just Liberty. So like all county, uh Jazz Fest, whenever the other schools come here and we go to the other schools. It or Nisma even. Cause you don't you get to see like band in other places and it's not just Liberty. You know it exists everywhere you go. So, yeah, that's awesome. Um you wanna tell everybody what instrument you play? Oh, I play trumpet. You play the trumpet. All right. Good times. You think you're going to uh, play your, try to play your instrument at school? Definitely. I'm going to, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to like audition for a band, but def well, most of my schools have pet bands that I could yeah. do. So I would definitely do that. So that leads us to the next question, which is tell us about what your plans are, even though you might not have set plans yet. What are you thinking about after high school? I'm undecided on the college of my choice, but mm -hmm. my major, I applied with biochemistry and molecular biology to all the schools that I do. I don't, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm going to try to do. And awesome. I'm going to try to go to school after that. When right. What are some of uh, your top choices right now of colleges? Um, U Albany, Franklin and Marshall, and Clarkson. Those are my top three, I think. Mm, we're going okay. to parents and we're going to find the best fit. Yeah. Clarkson's way up there in New York. It's five hours up. That's Yeah, you better you better bring lots of warm clothes <laughs> with you. <laughs> you thought we got a lot of snow here in Liberty. Just wait. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. wait. Well, that's good. Um, so you're going to do the biology... What, I don't. I can't even say all the stuff that you just said. Um, you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna do your teaching degree after afterwards, like in as your master's. I think so. I okay. Think yeah. I yeah. I did. I I did that. I did math as my uh, bachelor's degree, and then I did education for my master's. Okay. Yeah. So that's not a bad idea. I like that. Um. What message do you have? for the Liberty community. So, you know, your teachers, your friends, your family, whoever, what would you like to say to them? Um, I would like to say that I miss everyone. I miss being in school. I miss the community that we had, but I would like to thank everyone for everything they've done because without anyone, none of us would be where we are today. And all the faculty and everyone in Liberty makes it very easy for us to not want to leave. Yeah. Well, thank you. I, we, we enjoy you guys. Um, and as, as your advisor, um, and I probably had to work with you the most out of all of the officers. Um, thank you very much because I think your class was very lucky to have a president like you, um, who is so involved and cares so much about, making our class great in any way possible. So thank you on behalf of them and just for me, because you made my life easier. Thank you. All right. Is there anything else you want to share with us? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I see the gavel hiding behind you. Over there. <laughs> Did you, can I tell you a quick story? Did you know that I had that gavel made in 1998 for the class presidents? Really? I yes, think it's on there. Yeah, mine is the lizard that's on there. Um, and I had my friend, John Fancher, uh, make it in Woodshop because when I got the gavel from the 97 president, um, it was full and there was nowhere that I could put my name. So that I had him make a new one. And it's been around since then. And you'll even see my, my sister, Megan, is attached on there. Um, so I, I have a very strong connection to that gavel. So cool. So make sure you put something good on there. <laughs> I will. All right. Um, all right, Gabby. Well, thank you very much for being a part of this. Um, and thank you for everything that you've done for the class. Um, and I will talk to you soon. All right, and I'll be back with another 2020 Senior Spotlight soon.